Thank you everyone for being here today, for watching our film, which the home care provider Home Instead has created to show the everyday lives of multi-generational caregivers. And it shows that looking after our elderly relatives is really challenging sometimes. And I know that you all know that. And you're all family caregivers, or you have been, um, for elderly relatives. And so we're gonna get your thoughts today on what you thought about that film and also about the issues that it highlighted and look at ways that your lives could be improved and also the lives of millions of people who are doing the same kind of caregiving that you are doing. So um, first of all, let's go round and just ask all of you, what did you think of the film? The chap who's a paramedic, he had to uh, bathe his father, so he was standing, you know, there naked and his dad said, I'm just so embarrassed. And I remember doing that for my mother and the first time was really awkward um, but then after that you know it just came so natural and uh, all that went through my head when I was looking after my mum and you know when the first time I helped her shower was well this is exactly what she did to me when I was little and this is almost like a role reversal for now. It just took me right back to my mum looking after my mum day in day out with children, young children at the time, and trying to multitask, just trying to keep on top of it all, trying to work. Um, it was just kind of horrendous. And you just try, you just have to keep going. There is no choice, you have to keep going until that moment comes where you just say, I can't do this anymore. I think the bit that got me was the dementia part because I look after my mum and I have done for a while. I never really saw, saw it as looking after her because it's my mum, it's family, so this is what you do. The bit that um, I felt uh, was when the phone rings, I feel like when I'm walking down on the street or if I'm in a restaurant or if I'm in, at home or in any setting for that matter, but it's always the worry that my mum might suddenly call and there might be an emergency. It did make me sad because I think there's something incredibly sad about watching your dignified, independent, capable, successful parents diminish to a point where they can't remember, they're frail, they're at risk. So it's a constant worry. I felt straight away that I've been there, I've, that's, that's how I felt. And you know, when um, my mum didn't know me for the first time, that's really heartbreaking. I nearly had a nervous breakdown over it. Or actually don't wait till that breaking point is what we're kind of thinking about today, isn't it? Think about it much earlier, recognising that strain that you're under and get some help. Quick statistic, 88% uh, feel that they're neglecting their own health and well-being. Uh, through having their caring responsibilities and 65% struggle with their own mental health. Looking back now, I realise the extent of what we were taking on. You don't realise at the time, as you said earlier, you just get on with it. But um, I think we could have done with an awful lot more support and we could have done with it sooner. And I think everyone in this situation really needs help sooner. Um, but I think sometimes you don't realise you're in the situation until you're halfway through it, if you know what I mean. And then you get into what our research has showed people think is a stuck moment. Yeah. They're stuck, they can't go forward, they can't go back, there's no way out, they're spreading themselves too thin, they just don't know which way to turn. Do you recognise that kind of stuck yeah. moment feeling? Yes, what would you I say do. about that? That absolutely makes you um, unable to seek further help because you're so in it you can't find time to explore and no one's coming to you saying, well, actually, we can do this. I never looked at my own wellbeing when it, comes, when it comes to look after my mum at all. So I that's what you do. I didn't realise how exhausted I was. Barely get up off the sofa. How aware are you that help exists? How would you f go about finding it? Do you know, how would you access it? Do you know how to do this at all? Because we know statistics wise, over half, 59% of family caregivers know little about the social care market. Um, you know, what's available. This suggests that people need sort of educating. There needs to be yeah, more I information think out there. That's a 
a good point because, as Jane said, nobody comes knocking on your door to say, how can we help? And, it, and it's finding somebody that you, we will get on with and feel like that we can give instructions to and trust. Trust that's is important. Really important. That's, yeah, that trust word. is a big yeah, thing. Yeah. Trust that's so what we yeah. talked about, isn't it? You're handing your beloved family yes. member over to... And who, whose only agenda is to give our mum the best care, fill those gaps that we couldn't fill. You get private carers that come in and, you know, they come in and look after my mum and I have to say, they're excellent. And Home Instead provides care for older adults in their homes, of course, which is, we know that people's outcomes are better if they stay in their home, aren't they, in terms of their, their well-being and their mood and things. And actually, we've kind of spoken about this a little bit. How important is staying at home for life for your parents? We've spoken about Very. this, haven't we? What would you say? Yeah, very important. My mum doesn't want to go into a care home, no. I can't even suggest that to her. That's where they're safe, that's, that's where they feel safe, that's where they trust and that's where they're comfortable. What would make you feel that your parent was okay at home, safe in their home? What other care, what other input or measures would, would make you feel that they were okay in their home? I think I'd have liked um, a living carer that was honest, caring, and really loved their job. I think the same, a living carer, that would have been the best option for all of us. For me, it would be uh, ideal if my mom was living with me in the same place, but also with uh, extra support and help. I think for me, at the stage I'm at, flexible care, so I can move it and change it as things move and change. High quality care, sensitive and respectful care for my parents because they deserve nothing less. That's it. Thank you so much for taking part in this discussion. Your amazing insights. Thank you for participating. It's been emotional, would you say? Yeah, and I think you've got strength from each other. Um, hearing you're not alone. Other people are going through the same thing. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.